Hi, it's Amanda from Inner Courage Counseling, and today I want to remind you to be patient with yourself, especially when working on anything having to do with self-esteem or self-image. And I want to do an exercise to demonstrate why it's important to be patient with ourselves when we are working on something like this. So I want you to imagine that someone close to you for the last 10 plus years has on a regular basis made an effort to share with you criticisms that they have of you, things that they see visibly wrong with you, things that they're critiquing as far as your competence or your intelligence. And just imagine that they're saying these things to you every day for many years, whether it be your whole life or just even the last five years, 10 years, sometimes since adolescence. And then one day, this person who has been criticizing you and pointing out all your flaws for so long suddenly shows up and says, you know what, all those things that I said about you, I didn't mean them. They weren't true. I don't really feel that way. And here's all the things that I think are great about you. And and here's, you know, just some evidence that this isn't true. Even with evidence, even with a sincere effort, it'd be pretty hard to believe them. And often that voice isn't from just other people around us, although sometimes, unfortunately, it might be. It's often our own voice that we're hearing. And if you start to work on your self-esteem and work on your self-image, it's just a reminder that you're not going to be able to change the way you view yourself overnight. So be patient with yourself and realize how long some of these thoughts and beliefs about yourself might have been around. And how long it might take to believe that new voice that's really challenging that 